real quick before the video starts just want to thank you guys so much for almost 1800 subscribers we're at now as well as to dispel any questions that'll be popping up in the comments I'm sure they'll be there of what's what's all your sounds why are your sounds different just look in the description I've got all the stuff listed there if you want it there's also the discord link if you'd like to join so uh, please enjoy the video stay tuned till the very end because uh, it gets very interesting hello everybody welcome back to something I haven't done in a little while it's some post commentary so I do apologize for any uh, any jittering you're gonna see in this video. It, the replay system in War Thunder was being very strange today when I re-recorded this so I could do this commentary over top. But uh, this game was just so good that uh, I had to get the recording somehow and Shadow Play was being very uh, insistent on not working the other day. So I hope you guys still enjoy regardless, but like most games, I'm just, uh, we were trying to play the French yesterday, me and, uh, a couple squad mates. And this game starts out fairly slow, but at the end, that's when it gets really good. There's, I can't, I won't spoil too much. You gotta watch until the end to see it, but it gets pretty insane. So it just starts off with, uh, I was gonna take this a the AMX M4, which I need to get, I still need to get parts at this point. This is like the third game I played in it. Uh, over towards the Reichstag and try to do some sniping. And I managed to catch that M18 out in the open. And for whatever reason, these AP shells hull break easier than heat shells, it feels. So I get a really good shot on him and track him and then take him out. I see the guy fire here and I I don't know where my first shot goes. I don't know if he pulls back just as I shoot but I thought for sure that would have hit him because he was still sitting there after I fired so I was a bit confused about that but these French auto loaders they make it very punishing for uh, anybody who mistakes it. So I wait for him to peek out and I manage to get a hole break on him again with the AP rounds saving my squad mate in the Tiger 2 there. Sorry if you guys wanted markers on, but I just prefer them not to be on. I wish you could have teammate markers on. It's really dumb that you can't. War Thunder's replay system in general is just kind of stupid. Like, you can't rewind. You'd think you can. If you could, I don't know if I'm gonna chop off the top, but there's a back arrow, which can't rewind. So I catch this M18 rushing forward, but the smoke from my gun flash made it so I missed that guy until I move forward and he manages to get my breach. And like I said before, I didn't have tracks yet. I think he got my horizontal as well. So I just try to kind of wiggle to bounce a shot, but he shuts me down. All right, so after a bit of uh, issues with the replay file there, I. It, for whatever reason, jumps to a random player on the enemy team whenever you die, so. Uh, the only thing you miss here, I believe, is I kill the M18 who killed me as he was trying to kill one of my squad mates. Or I kill him right afterwards, something like that. But uh, now I'm rolling out in the AMX-13, which I absolutely love this tank. And you'll see here that the replay file skips a bit, but I do apologize for that. Like I was saying, this tank is a beast if you learn how to play it. It's very sneaky and it's gun, it hits incredibly hard. This is actually the first round I played with the new shells that this thing gets, the uh, ballistic capped shells. These things hit hard, especially with the AP buff. So I roll around the corner here, not aware that that FV was there, but luckily he misses me. Now I sit here, I spot him, you can't see that in the replay file, and I take a shot and then I immediately just, I'm not gonna try to trade with an FV4-202 at range in a one hit death tank, essentially. So I decide, all right, I'm gonna pull back, swing down around below the Reichstag, and see if I can maybe flank up on that FV or at least distract him so uh, my squad mate over in the buildings can kill him. And I gotta, 
give a shout out to all the people who are in my squad, which would be uh, the original Fag, Clown, and New El Paso. They did uh, they did okay. New El Paso and Clown, they did decent. I don't think they had too great of games, but Original and I at the end really were holding this match. But it, there was some great teamwork in here later on. So I'm trying to sneak up through this center here because I, I have a feeling that it was pretty clear there. I actually... Oh, the, the T-44 is on our team, that's right. The markers screw you up a bit, but I see this guy coming out of their spawn, and I believe I spotted him. Or, no, I missed the opportunity to spot him because he dipped behind that hill. But, uh, I'm trying to stay behind all this cover and sneak up on that FV, so I'm careful not to knock down this house because that'll put up dust and show him so I sneak in behind this tiger too using this low profile and I see him all right he's not looking I believe I spotted him there as well to tell my squad mate yeah you can see him pinging on the map I'm like all right that's where he is if you could just distract him I'll try to run up and get on to him So I kind of sneak out here and make my run for it. I'm very careful though. I keep myself in my binos view for a lot. I'm popping in and out constantly because I'm very, very nervous that that FV is going to look over here at any minute and see me pushing up, which would spell certain doom for me, seeing as a 20 pounder has more than enough penetration to uh, pen this thing hundreds of times with a single shot. Now at this point I was feeling pretty confident that he hadn't seen me and I thought for sure I had him but I believe just as I round this corner up here um, Original gets him from uh, his sniping spot across the building so I don't get the kill which I was a little bit upset about at the time but in the end Tank's dead so it doesn't really matter who gets the kill. And now I do move into a bit of a spawn camp right now, but at this point I honestly thought the match was basically over. We had just capped out the point and the fact that I was in their spawn. I wasn't really paying too much attention to the minimap at the time because of all the action that was going on. So I see these two guys in spawn and I'm careful not to give myself away. I believe the T25 notices me because he watches this building over here like a hawk. Like, he obviously knew that I was here. Either that or he just had a suspicion. But, uh, I know that he can't shoot me, so I see this Avenger sneaking up behind me. And he has no idea. I believe this is the FV who we just killed. So I want to make sure he doesn't get up there to snipe again, so... I eliminate him. And then I see the T-25 starting to push. I don't know if he thought that maybe I looped out and he was going to catch me, but... <laughs> I... I do not allow him to surprise me and I uh, catch him and kill his entire crew before he even has a chance to react. Now he manages to swing his 50 cal around and I think he headshots my commander through the cupola which was a little bit irritating but in this tank it really doesn't affect you that much so it's just more irritating that the 50 cal was able to pen me that easily. So now I don't want to just sit in spawn camp, especially considering we're not winning at this point. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to head towards the A point, start to kill people. If you can meet me over there, original. And original, you can see, is still picking up kills if you watch the feed. So we're both trying to converge over on the point. And I get extremely lucky here because there's an M18 coming out of spawn. I don't know when exactly. It's right around this time when he shoots me. Uh, you can hear him, I think. So I'm trying to sneak out, and then I, yeah, I get nailed from behind. I'm extremely lucky that that shot didn't kill me. So what I do, I see original across the lake, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to pop down here and try to bait him out for you to shoot him. If you could kill him, that would be fantastic, because otherwise I'm dead here. And I start on, I think it was like a 50-second repair or something. So I go ahead and pop smoke so that guy or anyone else coming out of their spawn can't kill me. And Original is able to cover me there for part of my repair. I believe he has to engage someone, but 
this is the sort of teamwork that I was talking about. Just knowing where your allies are and being able to use them to your advantage when you can. That's why I really prefer playing with a group of people as opposed to playing by myself. Because you just can't do stuff like this on your own. There's no way I could have won this match if it wasn't for... Uh, my squadron members or even just the other random people in the match, but it as much as they did they didn't guarantee us the win But still shout out to all of them who they really did some work especially this k4 I think he ended up with like a plane ace by the end of the match So original ends up getting that m18. I don't know if the m18's breach was down or something, but he just ends up dying and I start to make my way up. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hit this road so I'm not driving through the swamp of the mud over there. And I figure, all right, that M18 could be respawning. I'm just gonna swing by the spawn because we're outnumbered heavily right now. So anyone I can eliminate. And I just catch this guy. I, I was really surprised I got the kill on him. I couldn't even tell what it was, but I managed to snap a shot and kill that land down under tank. And now I move in. I wasn't planning on just sitting here and spawn camping. What I was going to do is just kill anything I saw immediately coming out to hopefully eliminate some of their players like this Jumbo who could have really turned the match around for them. But I don't get the chance to get out of there because that Crusader catches me. And now cutting back. Uh... I believe orig original dies to an FV immediately after I died, so we're both respawned. And I see this M18, who I was uh, I had heard them saying that we were being spawn camped, so I'm able to catch him. And this M10, or I believe it's an Achilles, I don't know what this guy was doing, but I managed to take the shot into the track for the first one. And I don't know what he... He was just very, very timid about how he was playing here. And in the end, it's what got him killed, because, granted, he was going to have trouble penning either of us, but the, the way that he played, he just basically baited up and tried to bait our shots, but then when he did bait the shots, like there, he didn't act on it. He, I mean, he tries to peek up here, but he doesn't pull the trigger, so I don't know... Yeah, he does tr finally fire there, but he completely misses, and I'm able to get his turret, so... Don't know what his plan was, but didn't work out in his favor that's for sure now I see that we are bleeding tickets heavily and I know that there is no way we're gonna win this by kills alone so with the mobility on the Arl I I'm like there's a 50 50 chance that I can make it to the cap if I just go straight there so I put the pedal to the metal so to say and just floor it in there I kind of, uh, this mud, this muddy area is, you could get through this, uh, this channel surprisingly quick on Berlin, but if you're in the mud, you slow down. I don't know why, but there's, like, more ground resistance underneath the water than there is on the sides of the riverbank. It's very strange. The camera goes haywire underneath there. Funny fact, if you try to drive a Tiger II SLA underneath this, you'll get caught in your cupola. You can, I mean, you can still fit underneath, but it'll, like, catch you and slow you down. So with the tickets bleeding out, I just barely make it out of the cap in time. Like, at this point of the game, I think I pulled it up and there were, like, 499 tickets left. So that means if five of us were to die, we would instantly lose this game. Thankfully, there weren't a lot of people in this game, because if there had been, we would have lost right here and now, I, I guarantee. But I'm trying to stay as low as I can without uh, allowing them to see me. Because I know I, I catch sight of this guy. I had no idea what this was. I thought that was the FV. So I pop up and shoot him. But it turns out to just be the Crusader. So he's down. And now I'm still trying to stay low because this tank is surprisingly weak to artillery and planes because it has such weak top armor and such a big turret so I'm trying to stay in the water because water for whatever reason can absorb explosions like you would not believe and I I'm very glad that I did this because I managed to pull around and 
snap the shot on that P-39, blow him out of the sky. Just the icing on the cake of an already great match. I mean, I'm already up to 13 kills with that plane included, so... This was going to be a good match either way. But it's what happens here that just... I catch a glimpse of that guy firing, and I hear in front of me, thanks to my sound mod, or just the sound that I had, I can hear his tracks as he rolls up. Now, M19s in the Arl are a bit of a threat to you because the Arl's turret is really weird. It's cast steel, but it's, like, weaker than you normal cast steel. It's very, very strange. So, I think this guy must have been firing either default belts or air rounds because he could not pen me, even on the side of my turret, which I think is only... I, I can't say off the top of my head, but it's not very strong. So I push up here and end up getting nailed by that M36 that was firing earlier. All this time, uh, Original's been keeping that FV distracted, and he had the M36 distracted, but unfortunately he saw me and took the chance. But I'm able to roll forward. I take a hit from the FV there, it knocks out my breach, but I just kind of machine gun this mound to throw up smoke. But I'm more immediately concerned about that M19, so I kind of keep wiggling my turret back and forth to just keep angling to whichever threat is the closest, seeing as the FV has to worry about a Tiger too, anyways. So I'm repping. I'm surprised I hadn't lost any crew members at this point, because I took like two or three penetrating hits there. Which normally in the RL is like a death sentence, but I'm trying to sneak a shot in between to get this M19, but I'm mainly just staying locked down on this cap point. And at this point, I was just in the Discord. I'm just like, original, don't die. Just stay alive a little bit longer. And I managed to catch that M36 as he makes a desperate push in. But these guys just waited too long. If the FV had pushed or this M19 had pushed, they would have had a sure victory here, but we're able to stall them enough, and watching these tickets bleed out, one of the best feelings I've had in War Thunder in a long time, and right as the game ends there, I'm able to snap a shot in, not quite kill the FV, but crit him, and then the game ends, and I was in recovery for a couple rounds after that match, let me tell you. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think of this, and if you have any matches that uh, you did insanely well and that you would like to send in, and maybe I'll do a post-commentary on them if they're good enough. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay.